You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe I should have just not sat on the booster seat. Because, look, I'm trying to make you look shorter than me. But well, maybe I should have just sat down. But I like my shirt. You ready? What's up, Divas and Divas? It's your girl, April, and Mumsy. And we are back to do a dollar store haul. Dollar Tree haul. Yeah, same, same thing. thing. Brick. I'll pull your heartstrings brick by brick. Make you love me. Hey, girl, let me build you up. Play an optimist, let me fill you up. Hey, girl, this is definitely love. Hey, girl, let me build you up. Play an optimist, let me fill you up. Hey, girl, this is definitely love. Break by break. What's up, Divas and Devos? It's your girls, April and Mumsy. And we are finally back to do another Dollar Tree and... 99 cents store. 99 cents only store. You didn't even say the word only part of it. Well, it's not only. Yeah, I know, right? We do have some new products that are available at the Dollar Tree and the 99 cents only store. This is probably like accumulated for like a month, I think. Um, we did go to the 99 cent store last night after we came from the mall. We went to Build the Bear. We had like a great time and we went to that new 99 cents. Well, it's not really new, but it's new to us. It's the second time we went there and we got like some great stuff. So you guys, we wanted to share it with you. You can definitely check at your local Dollar Trees. And if you have a 99 cent store in your area, definitely check there. They all have like loads of different stuff. So we about to just jump right into this video, right, my girl? So we're first going to start off with the Dollar Tree because that's like one of the most frequent ones that we shop at. I did find this at the Dollar Tree, which is really cool. I thought it was cute. It's a tumbler goblet, includes a snack container. They had like a bunch of different colors. Um, green. What kind? Like an aqua green? Yeah. And pink, purple. Oh, they had purple? Red? It was no. It does come with this little snack thing. I'm not really sure what you can put in here, but the lid does come off. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't attach. Like I would like to have it like attached because you know once you start washing these things, you end up losing them. So I would love for it to have been attached. But you know, it's at the Dollar Tree. It's still worth it. You can put like some really cold drinks in it, and then you know maybe like I don't know what would you put in here. Crackers, um, goldfish. goldfish. You like those? I don't like the goldfish. Cheez-Its Cheez are better to me. Um, but what I put in here? Cereal. Cereal. I don't know what I would put in here. Worms. Trolley worms. I would definitely put that in here. You guys know we always get socks, so I did think these were really cute cactuses for Arizona. This is a two-pack, so on one side it has like some stripes. And then there's also some cactus. So these are for my mumsy. Thank you. You're welcome. And also another two pack, which has just like some kind of like tribal artistic kind of design. And on the back, they're polka dot and white. Also for my mumsy. <sighs> now these pineapple socks are for me because I love pineapples. What do you think of these? I mean, I don't know. You don't have the pineapple pillowcase. Yeah, I know, but I just want to be spiteful and petty. I know. How about you get the ones on the back, the stars? No, they're plain. No, no, they're not really plain because they have the stars on the back. They're just gray and black. Th this don't even go together, these two. Not really. I know, right? They could have put, like, what was the first one? Um... The first pair that I showed you, what was on that one? Yeah, they could have put the cactuses on this one. At least, at least the cactus and the stripes match. This does not match at all. Yeah, so I guess I'll take the stars and I'll give my love right here, the pineapples, because she's a big pineapple fan. And for me, these. These are my favorites because these have the most stretch in them. I have found these in white and blue or like a grayish blue and this one right here. These are like super stretchy. Um, these are the ultra light low cut socks. I do favor these the most. Um, a lot of the socks like I just showed you, they really don't fit me properly. Like they're super tight. I wear a size 11, so those socks, um, 
I get like the lazy sock syndrome. They'll keep coming down. I'll have to constantly pull them up. So I just really don't wear those, but these work perfect for me. So also at the Dollar Tree, I did find, which I was really excited about, was the Argon one and only shampoo and conditioner. I do have the shampoo in another bag, so I'll definitely show you guys that. But I bought like about five of these conditioners at the Dollar Tree. The one and only Argon brand is like not a dollar wherever you purchase this at i've never seen this in walmart you may be able to find this in like sally beauty supply but this is their volumizing conditioner it helps seal in color prevents color fading protects nourishes and volumizes it's sulfate free and paraben free as well so at the dollar tree if you guys come across this product you'll definitely want to pick it up because where are you finding it at for a dollar i was so excited when i seen this but also shocked because i was just like are you serious right now they have this particular brand so cheers to that my friends for this product but it wasn't a dollar I, I like to spend a dollar would you want to spend like four dollars versus you see this at target no I'm you could. You could look there. well i wasn't looking for this but when i seen it i was definitely going to purchase it so yeah and this is definitely this is the argon um one and only brand not a cheap brand, but for a dollar, you cannot bypass that. Also, we did get some home decor items at the Dollar Tree. I love picture frames, and my theme in my living room is gold and silver. The kids say I have too much as gold usual. stuff. Excuse me, what? I said, as usual. What, gold and silver? Yeah, you're wearing gold right now. Oh, but it's jewelry, though, girl. What, you want me to wear? Like green earrings, pink, yellow? Switch it up. No, I like gold oh. and silver. No. My mumsy's throwing the shade because I love her so much, okay? They did have some really cool home decor items, um, and I did need some picture frames. I only purchased one because I do like my picture frames to be a little bit more fancier than this, but you know, you do have to have like some basic plain ones along with all the fancy ones that you get. Um, I like picture frames more or less to have like a lot of detail in them, you know, like framing, like kind of very artistic. I do love picture frames that are very kind of like artsy, but I do like to add some of the plain ones you know what i just noticed about this picture frame it's the no it's the perfect size but you know what it doesn't have the thing in the back where you can stand the picture up you know what i'm saying on the table so that sucks because i was going to put nay's picture in it and put it on the, one of the tables you can just clean it on the wall no i don't want to put it on the wall no leave it on the wall. I'll, I'll try to find something but yeah, so this is the actual picture frame. And unfortunately, I just realized it doesn't have the stand in the back. And that was the whole point of me getting the picture frame is because I wanted to have a stand on the back. But you know what I can do? I can get an old picture frame that I don't use anymore in the house and just reattach it. So, you know, I'm still going to use it. But this was a nice one. It also has like a mat matting inside just if your picture is smaller. It also has some really cool new wall hangings at the Dollar Tree. So these are just basically clear see-through glass. And this one has the word relax on it. This one has dream. I thought these would be really cute for Mumsy's room because I'm gonna like really decor it. The cool thing about these is if you don't want to keep just like the plain glass backing, you can put like a nice piece of colored paper or stock paper or any type of design behind it and make it your own. You can also paint the framing to it. You can put like any type of color behind it so that way you can make it really stand out. Like so, you know, if you want to put like something colorful, something plain, if you don't want it just like this, then you have enough space in the back right here where you can just tack something in. You can just set up against it. There was three different ones. There was Relax, Dream, and I do believe the other one said Wine, if I'm um, correct. Yeah. It did it say wine? Catch. Now, what these don't have any type of wall hangings on the back, but you can easily hang these up still without them. You can just put like small nails in your walls and you can do them from corner to corner for a dollar. Hmm. For a dollar. Make me holler. See, I didn't even have to say that more than one time to her. She definitely came through, okay? Girl, we're gonna do this one more time because you came through. I just have to hear your voice again. For a dollar. Make me holler. And that time, that was kind of <laughs> like, that was not like, you, you didn't really have any enthusiasm in it. You didn't sound jingly. 
You didn't sound like you was on the tune. You didn't really believe that it was a we're dollar. We're not a band. We no, we're not exactly. But you know, you have to seem like you, you have to. You have to like. You have to like it for a dollar. You, the way you said it, seemed like you wanted to pay more than a buck. Like she wanted to pay more than a dollar. So like, I'm really confused. Like, do you like it for a dollar? Like stuff for a dollar, or no? You like to pay more than a dollar for stuff. Like, let me know right now. No, it's nice. Okay, so. <clears throat> Me, 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 me. For a dollar. Make me holler. She'll work on that, you guys. Also, we did find this. Now, this is going to be for the kitchen. This is another little wall plaque. It does have a space in the back here where you can add a nail. It says, That's coffee rules. Don't drink it. Don't breathe near it. Don't even look at it. But you're allowed to make it. So we're gonna hang this up for daddy in the kitchen because it was super cute. I love like my gallery in the kitchen with different pictures, so really cute. It's red like our kitchen, which I didn't even think about it at the time, but it's, red. it's not all red. The gallery is not all red. Oh well, yeah, we have a lot of red though. We put green. What we got, Christmas going on? Yeah. Yeah, you would say that. You like Christmas time, right? <laughs> get three of these mirrors unfortunately they only had three i really wanted to get four um i'm going to be making a project for my eldest son in um this is what the project entails on. So the, the mirrors are a good quality for a dollar. Unfortunately, like I said, there was only three left and I've been looking on and off and I haven't found another one. But so this is what I'm going to make. And I do have some other items to show you with it, um, which is only like some hinges. My son, Jerron, seen or he was just basically telling me about this three-way type of mirror that he saw um, where it makes cutting your hair a lot more simpler especially like for guys or just for women but um, more or less it was um, just advertised as for something that a male would use for when they were cutting their own hair so basically it was $100 I did find it on Amazon and, and I just was like um, ain't nobody about to pay $100 for three mirrors that's kind of like kind of like angled together so you had three mirrors put that one on right here next to me and they were more or less kind of like this kind of in like a cubicle type of setting so it's kind of mirrors at ikea but they're like taller no but he wants it it's for cutting the hair oh so you know it was more or less he could see from the front well, basically he would probably be looking at himself right here in the middle mirror and you could see on the sides as you were cutting your hair. And they were all kind of like put together like this. It was like kind of like an open box and it had a, hand, a handle. So for $100, I kind of was like, you know, more or less, let me try to make this. So I did purchase some hinges that I'm going to add to it so that way it can open and close. He said, um, Ma, you can't make this. I said, Ma, um, excuse you, but I can make just about anything if I try. I'm going to try to make it and I'll send it to him. Next you're going to make a car. If I can make a car, girl, okay. trust me, I'd be already in the garage. So I'm going to let Mumsy show this because she was really excited when she saw these at the Dollar Trees. I'm not really sure what these are. This is a barf ooze ball, technically like a glutama. A glutama? Yeah. What is that? It's like um, a kawaii about. thing. Oh, something cute. Yeah, and you like, there's slime right here. So it's an ooze ball. Yeah. Okay, so what you got here? What is this? This is what he slurps up. Oh, you wanna open it? Yeah. Ooh, smell this. It smells like... Like a squishy, right? Mm-hmm. How come when you get something and you don't like the smell of it, you just keep smelling it? You ever do that? And you'd be like, oh God, that stinks. Oh my God, that smells. And then you just keep going back to it. Oh, it's wet and nasty feeling. Oh, I was wondering how you was gonna get that in his head. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> do it one more time. Okay, so you like it? Yeah. Fun. When we first walked in the Dollar Tree, let me tell y'all, they always have like their item of the week right there at the door, like as soon as you walk in. And when we seen these, I was like, aren't these so cute? It will be 
those stuff for item of the week. Yeah, the DVDs, right? Yeah. Nobody even really watches those. I mean, they're cute because the nobody's buying them. They're trying to get some more books. Buy. I've never seen books there at the um for the item of the week, but these were there, okay? And we thought these were so cute for a dollar. Make me holler. Definitely, these are so cute for little room and home decor. And you can, um, what do you call these sequins when they move like that? Mermaid something. Now look at that. You can change the color. Show them yours. I don't even know if there's like bags of them. Those are called mermaid bags. Uh huh. So these are like they called mermaid pillows. And what kind does yours change? To? Mine is from colorful to silver. I like. I like the colorful one. This one right here, which is all blue and then purple. This is so cute though. Fabric, kind of like very soft material on the back for a dollar. Like seriously, I'm saying for a dollar. Make me hot. She is really out of tune. Like girl, these are yours. I'm gonna make you say the whole thing. No. <laughs> You have to say it all to yourself now. That's like your punishment. But I I'll with, say the end. I'll say the ending. Part. I didn't come up with the catchphrase. You did. For a dollar, make me holler. You have to sing it. <laughs> but yes, you guys. So these were really cute. I think my favorite one was this one because it's just white and like gold. The white and gold one. But it matches. I, you know me in white and gold. But this is for Mumsy's room. I out. Yeah, these are for Mumsy's room. These are so cute to throw on her bed. I think like the this one is the prettiest. You know why I like this one the most? It's gold. That too, but it'll really go like your pineapple theme because it's white and gold. Not because it's gold. Oh, <laughs> the bandana. I love these bandanas. I had purchased some of these prior, like months and months ago, and I thought these were so cute because they're headbands. You can stretch them out. So if you want to wear them just like a regular headband, you can. Or you can put them up and pull them up and just stick like your hair in them. You could do like the pineapple with your own hair. It's a bit too hot to be wearing that. So yeah, you can wear them on your neck if you want. And I don't like anything on my neck. You can wear them as a ponytail scrunchie. You can wear them as a cap. All types Tennis. of ways. A, a headband like around your head. All types of ways. And this, I didn't even realize, these are mermaids on here. See it? Oh yeah. Super cute, little mermaid. So I love these. I think I have like about four of them. And I do wear them not as often because I would like for them to come out with like some plain colors instead of so many different designs on them. That makes it a little bit harder to pair up. But I like the whole concept of this, especially for a dollar. I have seen these elsewhere and they're not a dollar. Yeah, that's too hot for that. You don't wanna wear that to Walmart today, honey? No. She trying to kill me if I wear this to Walmart. I'll be done passed out somewhere. My neck be all sweaty. Look, I'm starting to feel this way about this shirt. You guys have seen my recent makeup setup um, in my bathroom tour. I did show you guys a lot of these acrylic plastic-like trays that you can get at the Dollar Tree as well. You can use them for all types of things. I like to use them for my makeup storage. They're not as wide as this one here. And when I seen this one, this is a three-tray one, but it's a lot wider than the ones that I have. I said, you know what, girl, I'm about to get this. I thought this was a great idea. So if you guys are looking for some nice little makeup trays, definitely hit up the Dollar Tree. These are well worth it. Now they're not acrylic, they're plastic. You're not, I mean, like, listen, if you're going around hitting people with them, then they're definitely not gonna last. But if you're just using them for the sole purpose, then they will definitely last and they will definitely serve the purpose. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so here's the story about these things right here. Bam! Okay, so we got like about 30 bags of these now, okay, because we did go to like a bunch of different stores, but let me tell you the story on these, okay? When I went to my mother's house just recently, um, she had put me onto these because now I got my mom shopping at the Dollar Tree. She goes every Thursday because they get their new stuff in on Wednesdays, and um, she put me onto these nut clusters. These are so good. Um, I'm like amazed by these. Now, when you see these at the Dollar Tree, hunties, definitely pick them up. Don't pick up one bag. If you like like healthy treats like granola 
or like clusters like this, then you would definitely want to get these. They have one grain of fiber, four grains of protein, no preservatives, okay? The calories are 140 per serving, like per bag. These are so daggone good and they're gluten free. So I went and probably bought like about six more bags the other day and it was on Mumsy's birthday and she just was just like, oh God, basically like here she goes. I had her taste one and she said they were good. Please tell me why the next day she came to me and what did you say? Can I have a bag of clusters? That's not how she said it. She said, honey, can I have a bag of your clusters? I was like, what? <laughs> Girl, yes, help yourself. Now she is part of the cluster club, okay? Right? There's no club. There's no yeah, yeah, it is. Sign up papers. No, no, it's not. I make up my own rules and my own club. So grandma loves them, daddy likes them. Now my husband has been buying bags, and now mumsy likes them. So cluster club. If you guys want to be part of the cluster club, Definitely pick up these Sherwood clusters. They do have the cranberry ones, but I haven't seen those. My husband got them. But these are so good, and they will keep you regular, like, to go to the bathroom. So, for real, for real, if you are wanting to lose weight, if you're wanting to just eat a nice, good, healthy snack, then by all means, go for it. Go for it. All right, you guys, so also at the Dollar Tree, we seen this, and we thought these were so cute, which are these right here. This is the Little Army Troops, and it's a shaving kit. And this one right here is the Body Wash Shampoo and Conditioner Berry Blast. So this is so cute for the little guys, I mean, and even the little girls, okay? You get a nice amount of um, product in this bottle. This is 14 fluid ounces and you can use it as a bubble bath, you can use it as a shampoo and conditioner. I'm not really sure more or less like about the conditioner part, but it's really cute. It has like a reflective type of logo right here, and it's just our little army troops for a dollar. So we have shaving cream, which is kind of like body wash with like soapy. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. We have, uh, more body wash, a little razor. A little brush where they can brush it away. A brush. Oh, lather up their faces with. This was so cute. We actually did give him, we actually bought two of these. So with this one, it's really cute. I think I'm gonna send this one to my grandson, um, Sweetums, or we call him JJ now, because you know, he probably like to do or use something like this too, but this, you know, he likes little army guys, and I thought this was cute, especially like for little gifts, little grab bags and stuff. This would definitely be cute for like a little guy. Oh yeah, it's not too strong. That does it smells something like something familiar. Blueberry, a berry. No, it smells like something else that I've used before. It says it's berry blast. It's cute though. But yeah, for a dollar. Make me holler. It's kind of like in the shape of a walking Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Put it up. So it's in the shape of a walkie-talkie, Mom. You said, and you're right. You're absolutely right. Now, as I was saying about the Argon Oil One, um, One and Only, this is the shampoo, and I did not even realize this was clarifying shampoo. Pre-color shampoo removes build, removes buildup, prepares hair for optimal color penetration. I was looking for a actual clarifying shampoo. Um, just recently because I was toning some platinum blonde hair, this wig that I was sent, and it turned it like, it gave it purple tones in it, which I wasn't too happy about. I do like that it kind of like turned it almost white, but in order to remove the purple tones, you have to use clarifying shampoo, a lemon, and some Dawn dish detergent. So I forgot that I even had this because it was in the bag of Dollar Tree stuff, but a dollar, like look, now I have the matching set really doesn't have a scent to it at all. So it doesn't have a scent, so I wonder what the conditioner smells like. That smells pretty good. But the shampoo doesn't really have a scent to it. No, it doesn't really smell like it. But hey, for a dollar, if you guys come across this, load up on them like, where are you getting this brand at for a dollar? Like, I'm pretty sure you may not be able to find it again at the Dollar Tree, so I've gotten like about six bottles of the conditioner stock up on it and three bottles of the shampoo so yes you guys definitely and then the last two items from the dollar tree is you guys already know let's shake it up baby shake it up 
is my one and only favorite styling mousse, the Salon Selectives Anti-Frizz Curl Sculpting Intense Volume All Day Extra Firm Styling Mousse. Okay. Because that ain't a styling mousse. Oh. I love this stuff. I swear by it. You see my little sides and stuff. Okay. My little hairs. This is what's up. And the cool fact about this is it's not like a distributor of the Dollar Tree. This has been around since like the 60s, the late 60s, the 70s. My mama told me so. Um, this was like a really popular brand back then. And I'm so happy that they sell us at the Dollar Tree. So I'll buy like maybe like six of these at a time. I'd rather spend a dollar versus like four that I would spend like on my Aussie um, styling mousse. It works just as well if better i love the foam that it gives i love the hold that it gives and this is the number four now that right there i'm gonna be honest with you about this is the volumizing humidity resistant boost volume and hold luminous shine all day extra hold number five hairspray let me tell you about this girl this is not that great I had bought this because um, I was told that, you know, someone else had purchased this. My mom purchased this for my sister. She didn't really tell me the quality of it, like how my sister felt. But I had a subscriber who told me that she had purchased it. So I tried this in a half wig video one time. Girl, it took me like 30 minutes to do this wig tutorial because all it did was make my hair wet. Did not even hold it. Was not even worth it. I was so peed off, teed off. I had bought two of these. Um... I'm not going to say that this will hold your hair because it didn't work for me. It just says humidity resistant. It does say extra hold, but it wasn't holding nothing down. So, I mean, like, there are other hairsprays that I would say go for. This is definitely not one of them. You guys already know, I like Aussie Instant Freeze and Pump It Up. Like, those are the two that I always gravitate to. Um, this was definitely not my favorite, so I'm just going to have to bypass on this one right here. Um, if you guys want to try it out, it's only a dollar. Your purposes may be a little bit different, but for me, this just was like kind of like a very miss. It wasn't a hit like this one right here. So definitely, I would suggest this right here. So now it's time to move on to the 99 cents only store um, things that we have. And then we're going to go to Walmart after this. For the 99 cents only store, the one on Thunderbird. And I was so excited because as soon as we walked in the store, what did I see? A box or a display for Oreos, Nabisco Oreo cookies. Now the display was facing to the back of me. So I was really like reluctant to even go over there. Cause I'm thinking it was like those little tiny boxes. Girl, no. Bam. Is it upside down? Oh, okay. We're going to do that again. Bam. Okay. And bam. These are the golden Oreos. The ones that we have for like, um, for the first time that we went to that store you talking about? Those are just regular. The lemon ones. Uh-huh. I have the, the vanilla ones and they're good. Oh, okay. So these were 99 cents, y'all. I was like shook it, okay? Like for real, I bought 10 packs of these because if you go to your local grocery store, these things are running like $3, seriously. So when I seen these for 99 cents, I said, let me buy like 10 of them because they will eat them up in here like it was like no nothing, tomorrow. like no tomorrow. And the one thing that I cannot take, I can't stand the most when people eat these, not Mumsy or me, but anybody else in here that does it is when you just eat the cream inside out the middle and then toss the cookies away. I can't, you can't do that here. Like I can't, that's just like a waste of cookie. So yeah, I pass. it is, it's definitely a waste. So these expire in September of some, these expire in September, which is like a month away. I guarantee you by the time September hits, um, they'll these they'll probably be gone or halfway. But here's the key. Even though they say they expire in September, they don't really expire as long as you don't open them. So that's the one thing that I do look for. But for 99 cents for these, girl, stock up. Stock up. So for a dollar, make me hot. For real, get you some milk. And dunk them in here. Do you dunk it in yours, in the milk? I use a fork. What do you mean you use a fork? I use a fork and then stab the cookie and dip it in. Oh, you like stab the cookie like that? Well, I don't like stab it. I just 
Oh, to the cream. Oh, to the cream oh. instead. They had the Oreo Thin Bites Fudge Dip Coconut Cream ones. We only got two of these. This is the only flavor that I found. They do have on the back, they have the mint ones and they have the originals, but we didn't see those. So I'm pretty sure these taste just as good, but for a dollar or for 99 cents, hey y'all, like seriously, these are supposed to be new. So they say, but these also expire in September. They're much smaller. They're thin and crispy, bite-sized perfection dipped in a thin coating of fudge. So. I do remember I was saying last night how I love the thin mints like by the Girl Scout cookies and stuff that's what these remind me of girl like that glazed chocolate over it like this oh I don't know about the coconut because I can't eat coconut but I like the thin cookies like this but girl I'm gonna eat these if I swell up a little bit then I'll be alright I'll just take some um no not aspirin um oh man what is the medication? Um, oh God, I know it when I go to the store, but it's for allergies, like allergic reactions. I'll take it. And I mean, you use it for a cold too, but it'll help with your allergic reactions. Like if you got bit by something, I remember what it was, but um, I don't really, I can't really eat coconuts, but it all depends. If it's like a raw coconut, I definitely can't eat that because I will have a reaction, but this probably is not gonna bother me. It says it's coconut cream. It probably ain't even real coconut anything. It's probably artificial flavoring. But I'm gonna still have me a couple, you know what I'm saying? But for 99 cents, hey. So it's like the um the coconut candies, you can't have those. Oh, I eat those. The oh. the mounds. Yeah. I eat those. I love those. I could eat those, so that's what I'm saying. I probably could eat this because they're cooked. They're not like raw like that. They cook them. We have a nice little sign that says I believe in unicorns. And who is that for? It's eight. No, it's not. Oh, I was about to say, girl, she got me got unicorns. That's for Mumsy's room. It's okay, cute. You got your door. You're on the other side of the door. Where are you going to hang it at? In front of the door. Isn't this cute? For 99 cents, a glitterized unicorn. So cute. Now, look what I found at the 99 cents only store. And I was like, oh, I'm getting this. I have been wanting one of these for a minute, and I have seen them all over the place but a girl I know but they was like $15 and I don't really be want to spend like $15 $20 for something that I really don't need but when I seen this BAM BAM it's a fanny pad it's a um thank you a holographic fanny pad okay like look this is so freaking cute it wasn't 99 cents it was 3.99 an amazing value as the ticket says and it's true for 3.99 so i could put in like some pads from the 99 cents only store in here um you know what i'm saying like if i need to carry them with me i thought it was so cute right mamsy said she likes it so she's going to borrow it whenever she wants. It has the strap on the back with the nice adjustable tie thing or clip thing. So cute. And, you know, like me, old school, I would definitely wear this like like a fanny pack. But everybody else now, they just like. Or like the Supreme fanny packs. Oh, oh, the Supreme one. Oh, yeah. look, she got to school me. Oh, so if you have a Supreme one, you can't. Yeah, Supreme. Oh, what about like the Louis Vuitton ones? Supreme and Louis Vuitton. You gotta carry it like this, Gucci. Yeah, Not like this. Not with this kind. No. Oh, well, I'm gonna be the first one to wear it like this if I want to. But I thought it was cute. Over the head. Oh, over my head. This, like, okay. Well, I don't think my fanny pack. Yeah, like that. But I feel really uncomfortable like this. I don't know why they do that. It just looks I feel weird. I feel kind of stiff. Like, oh, but maybe I could just like rest my arm. Like, you know, like if that. You break your arm? Yeah, if I break my arm, then I have somewhere to rest it. Like, you know. But I thought this was like so. Where, where, how am I going to get out? Okay. I thought this was so freaking cute for $4. Like, seriously. You ain't putting a world of stuff in here, but definitely. Ooh, it could, I could wear it with my shirt. Huh? Yes, Mumsy said I could put my water in here when I go on my walks. This is so cute for that. So look at this. For $4 at the 99 cents only store. Wish, I, yeah, the Wish app, you want to talk about that? The Wish app. 
I don't know why everybody be going crazy over it on the commercials. Stuff like that. But um, you'd be like, I wish my stuff would come already. I wish it would get here. I wish it was what it said it was, but now it's not. I wish I never bought the stuff, okay? I wish. I do not like the Wish app. It takes like six weeks for your stuff to come. Two months at that. You. That's why they call it Wish, because you'd be like, dang, I wish my stuff would get here already. And when they put the, the names Wish on their boxes, normally come up like, like that. They come in plastic bags. Because you know why? They trying to act like bags. Yeah, or our paper bags like the paper envelopes they just trying to be like amazon that that wish that wish site wish app that thing is well, so amazon phony it has theirs on there yeah on but box. wish is trying to be like them for real they are they don't know that people get their stuff from amazon in a timely manner you ever wait for something so long you forget you bought it and then when it comes in the mail it's like oh yeah i mm -hmm. forgot i bought that like two months ago mumsy has here a a nice sign that has a cup of coffee and a croissant and it says best breakfast a good morning always fresh cooked this was so cute to add to our wall this is a nice size um nice size little wall display you know we'll definitely give you a tour of the wall art in our kitchen um but for $1.99, I thought this was really nice. It's made of like particle board and it already has these hooks in the back. I always tell you guys about these, or not always, but I have told you guys about these sanitary pads on plenty of different occasions from the 99 cent store. I'm not going to say go to the Dollar Tree and get them because I don't really like the ones from the Dollar Tree. These ones right here from the 99 cents only store um, are comparable to Always Ultra Thin, Always Ultra Thin Long Super Pads with wings. Um, you do get 10 of these in a pack. They're individually wrapped just as you would get the um, Always ones. These are really some damn good pads for 99 cents, Coralite. Um, if you're getting them like always for 10, you're going to spend like at least three bucks. So I stock up on these, uh, for the 99 cents only store because Hey, there are more mainly females here except for Wuzzle, my son. This one here is the ultra thin overnight with wings. And this one is compared to the always ultra thin. Now they do have other brands, not excuse me, other brands, but they do have other ones besides these two. They have the thicker pads. They have ones that are compared to like Kotex brand or Maxi brand, but these ones right here, I definitely would say get these. It also has the little guide on the side as well as it shows you the um, the length. And the overnight ones come with eight. So if you have a 99 cents only store and you, 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 you need sanitary pads, you don't want to spend a lot, I would definitely say get this brand. This is the Coralite brand, okay? What we got here is some stuff from Mumsy Slime, okay? Now she likes to use the glitter. Is it glitter? Yes, the glitter. So I seen this at the 99 cents only store yesterday. Uh, green. Green glitter and silver glitter. And Mumsy's gonna decorate herself with glitter all over. Well, no, she's not gonna put herself. It's for her slime. And I think these are like good quality. They're nice size um, glitters. You get in a nice amount. So we got these for Mumsy Slime. What else do we get for your slime? We got act, extract. What is it? Extract. We have coconut and then we have lemon. And what do you do with that? And you would normally use it for baking, but instead I want to use it for a scent. So she makes her slime smell really good by using um, that. Just regular food scents. Or um, what's the other stuff that you use? We get her like the um, the potpourri ones. You can put that in the slime and it makes it smell really good. So right. these crystal skull headphones, nice, right? Yeah, I know. And they're just skulls. I do apologize if you guys can't really see it, but they're just skulls and they do have the rubber backing that will fit inside your ears. These were also at the 99 cents only store. So we got two of these. Also, I did get my normal brand, which is these. These are the soft comfort fit and sound oscillating ones. And this is by the brand Earbuds. These are a great brand um, at the 99 cents only store. I don't really like the Dollar Tree's headphones. I'm not like a huge fan, you either. Go break easy. Yeah, they're really like low quality at the Dollar Tree for earbuds. So, I mean, like, 
I would say if you do find one at the Dollar Tree, go for it. But I don't really, very rarely will you see me buy any headphones. The only time I'll buy the headphones from the Dollar Tree is like if I don't have any and someone is in need. But other than that, I will just stock up on them at the 99 cent store. I know you guys are like, well, why are you stocking up on them if they're so good? Because for one, they will break eventually like somebody will walk on them, step on them, lose them, forget them. Like, it's just very weird. like who gets the most headphones? out of here who uses the most headphones all the time out of here like always needs a new set of headphones wuzzle my son wuzzle he always asking for a pair of headphones like seriously um i went in his drawer one day he had all the old ones that weren't even working it was probably like seven pair he breaks them he loses them he forgets where he puts them and so if he's in a rush he got some headphones so that's why I make sure to stock up on these always. I got blue ones that I've been using for like a long time. But how, like how long? For like, I used them in fifth grade. And you still have them? Yeah, I used them for six because we needed more Chromebooks now. See? Oh, they're in school? No, they're in my backpack. See, so she's got headphones from that long ago from the 99 cents only store. So as long as you take care of them, then they'll definitely last. But if you're one that has kids and they misplace them, they break them or whatever, then you definitely want to check the 99 cents only store for them. And then the last item that we did get from the 99 cents only store are the utility hinges. Now these come with two hinges and the screws. I'm definitely not going to use the screws, but this is going to be for the mirror, the kind of like three dimensional mirror that I'm going to be creating for my son. Um, and I will definitely make a video of it after I make it, meaning I'll make another one. Um, see how it works out. Um, I think the 99 cent store has some great tools. I think the 99 cent tour tool selection is a lot better than the Dollar Tree tool selection because they didn't even have these at the Dollar Tree. So they have more stuff to select from. Yeah, they do better stuff too. Way more stuff and better stuff at the 99 cents only store when it comes to utility tools. So if you have a 99 cents only store, then you definitely want to check them out. They have a lot of different brands that you would be amazed with. Not everything is great or 99 oh. cents, but for the most part, you will get a lot of nice fun um, deals and things that you can choose from. So you guys, we hope you enjoyed this video um, from us and we hope you guys um, leave your comments below. Make sure that you share the video with everyone. And me and my buddy right here, Mumsy, will definitely be back. She all sitting low. Look, I'm sitting on a pillow so that way I could be taller than her. Because in reality... Okay, so this is me in reality. Okay, because... <laughs> Mumsy is like my height now. And so I thought it was kind of weird. I look even smaller, shorter than you now. I mean, I can't change. Is the chairs at the same level? Yep. I think because your chair is hard and mine's is soft. I don't know, but so yeah, we're definitely um the same height. So yeah. So you guys, we love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, let me know what you think, and we'll see you guys in a soon to come video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>